Hello, hard hats, and welcome back to Construction Simulator. Been spending the last 10 minutes or so trying to get these 28 pieces of, well, I guess it all depends on what side you're standing on, either the floor or the ceiling, uh, completed for this stage. And this will be the 26 out of 28 pieces I needed to move. And then I'm pretty sure we'll be going down to get more uh, frames from the building materials. Well, I don't know if it's a, what's it called? It's not building materials store. Uh, the prefab wall building. That's where we gotta go. I assume there'll be a second floor. We know there's more I gotta go down there and grab anyways. But we'll see here in just a second. I think we are done with the cement mixer and pump, so maybe next time I'm over there, maybe I'll kind of fold those up and maybe get those out of the way. But finally, the last one for this stage. And we'll move on to the next level. Probably have to move some of the building materials that is behind me in the location. Why is it stuck on 28 out of 28? Okay, just got to give it a second. I was like, uh, that's a first. What's going on here? All right, pallet of metal elements. Uh, okay, I can see where they got to go. They got to go all the way over to there. So how many more do I... I well, this is what we got left. All right, so three of these. And then we'll go grab the prefab wall element timber. Game did have me nervous there when it's stuck on 28 out of 28. I was like, uh, what am I not doing right here? Now the game just had to have a quick think of what it wanted to do. Probably because, you know, it all depends if you're on easy, medium, or difficult of what it had to spawn in next. So actually getting all that done only got me up to 56% done on the job. All right. Don't think I'll ever figure out that whole percentage over there. Either way, we got to get done what we got to get done. Oh, I still got a... A crate on the back of our low loader. I'm trying to remember, is there four? There might be four prefab wall crates I got to get down at that supply center. Is it going to say unpack material? Well, either way, we gotta get off the crane. Oh, let's see if I can remember my way through here. And then second door over. There we go. Let's jump over that. Uh, let's go ahead and... We'll just get this out of the way. That way, when I bring my truck back up, meaning we teleport up here, I got more room. And you watch. Next step. Pour concrete. And I'll cry a little bit. <laughs> okay. Reset that. Driving mode. I will say this VIP lounge area is quite the build. This could use repair and refuel. We do have our maintenance truck just around the corner. All right, let's go see if I can get this crate off the low loader. As at last episode, I had issues with these. Let's see how we do today. All right, not having that much luck. Oh, there we go. 
I don't care. As long as we finally get it. Because <laughs> when Construction Sim came out, I had an issue where uh, I had two of them that would not come off the truck. Uh, yes, this is where we got to go. And I can't remember if it's... Uh, I think it's going to be two trips. So we should have like four... Four of those uh, crates that we got to load up. Uh, hopefully it's in the low zone because I did a terrible job at parking that up. Let's get our exercise in first thing today. Oh, number of packages, six. All right, so that's going to be two more trips for darn sure after this. I'll try loading more than two. All right. Doesn't hurt to try. And let's get back up there and we'll start putting in these walls. And we'll do the process of elimination as I put them in. It's going to be a lot of uh, prefab walls we got to uh, slap in. So four... So it should be, oh yeah, it is. That makes sense. 24. I don't, I didn't really have to do the math, but it's right there on the screen for me. But I was thinking, yeah, there should be four per crate. And I got six crates. That's 24. It's almost like I'm a genius or something. Which we all know is not true. All right. Let's see if we can get these uncrated. Ah, first try on that one. All right, that's a go. Oh, wow, two for two. But that sounded kind of aggressive when they unlocked those. Getting to know my way through the building pretty good. All right. So it doesn't matter which ones I grab. We'll just uh, raise it on up and whatever, whatever I find first. Like this right here. Goes right here. Don't ask me how the wall's standing up when nothing is tied to it. But, uh, you know, we'll just... Our invisible co-workers are up there holding it in place until we get more of the wall put in. Uh, Alright, right here should be good. Alright, what do we got? Okay, so like a double window... I think we saw a few of these right here. Try to get these put in before it gets dark. Got a couple of hours of in-game time. Talk about the ones on the truck, not all of them. I don't think I'm going to get all of them done before dark. Uh, okay, I got a few spots this one can go in. Just grab one of them. Don't care which one. Alright, I'll bring this over here somewhere. Uh, okay, way over here will work. Well, didn't really see many on that side, so let's just bring this like straight back. 
Are all these ones in the center? No, they're not. They're not the, sh uh, the right shade of blue that we're looking for. Let's see if I can find another one. Oh, right here will work. At least I think it will. All right, plenty of places for this type of wall to go in. We'll just uh, slam it into place, I guess. All right, so that's the eight that we brought up. Let's go ahead and get rid of those crates, shall we? And I'll try to do it from the driver's side because they are closer to the side. Ah, second try, so that wasn't too bad. And that was the third try on that one. All right. Well, they're off. And we're off. Back on down to the prefab wall. Second trip of three. And when we get these back up, I think we'll have our coffee break. Be a little rough if these stores had like regular business hours so coming down at night time we may not be able to get them that would really that would really kind of suck a little bit and Back up to here. Only 165 credits to fast travel. And parking where we have been parking, I think that's about the best spot to do these in. All right. Well, second try. I mean, the way it went last episode, I'm not going to complain about, you know, if it takes me up to three tries. But that sounds... Uh, maybe it's echoing because of the building. Maybe that's why it sounds a little bit louder. All right, eight o'clock. It's time to have some coffee and call it a night, apparently. All right, let's get these in, shall we? And just like we did before, just, just grab one and put it in the first spot that we see. And then, of course, I would assume... After I get these in, I may have to put in 24 ceiling panels. Uh, come on. There you go. Grab one of these. And 
around. Looks like we got a solid double wall right here. Second floor starting to come together. So another solid wall, which I did not see one, another one where we just were. So let's go oh, right here will work. And looks like these last four are all the same. some reason these seem to be going quicker than when I put the ceiling panels on but I think it just feels that way because we're breaking it up by taking trips down to the prefab wall factory all right let's bring this one like over here maybe yep and looks like the other one can go over here as well. There we go. And I'll get the crane kind of into position. I'm trying to remember though, I think in the early games, I think we were getting like 50, 50 euros or dollars, wherever you were, for returning these. Don't remember it's been a while since uh that happened i mean this game's been out now for what two years two and a half years somewhere around there all right the last of the prefab walls for this current job that we're on probably could save myself a little bit if i were to drive the truck over to here and load up but I think if he took off his hard hat he might be able to run a little bit faster and may not be as winded Hopefully we can uncreate these relatively quick. Uh, first try on that one. I like that. And second try on that one. We'll say though that that's a that's it's a long climb up the crane. There's no elevator to get up there. I can see why my guy is out of breath every time he comes down that thing. All right, a single one. Well, I do believe there's one right over here. Somewhere. Yep, there it is. 
And I'm not sure, I haven't been paying attention, but if the build is a mirror build, meaning it's the same on one side as, as it is the other, let's grab this one here. And is it going to go way over here? So a solid wall. I mean, we're doing the whole process of elimination thing all over again. Just <laughs> the more I put in, the less ghost images we got to figure out where it needs to go. All right, so another solid double you can go right next to that one. one here well not quite sure let's bring it oh nope never mind never mind he says he sees it but I'm not quite sure where the last one of these will go Gotcha. And now for the last two. And since they're the same, and we know one of them has to go over here. Now, where's the last one? Way over here in the corner. All right, unpack construction material everywhere, so let's go ahead inside. Uh, let's take the stairs and the stairs. Okay, there's that one. Number two. And number three. All right, so now we gotta move. We unpack construction material where? Uh, down below us. Uh, probably got to stand out of that work area. And is this going to be the entire ceiling again? Looks that way. 25 pieces. Uh, I am going to go, just to get my exercise, I'm going to go run through. And I want to get the crates off our truck. Maybe. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's uh, jump back into the crane. And first off, we'll move 
that stuff. Is it all going here? Yes, it's all going right there. So let's get that moved over first off. two of this. Alright, and then the two concrete beams. Of course, the next step will be the 25 ceiling elements need to be put in. This is unpacked material, but we're up here in the crane anyways, so let me spin around. And you know what? Since the time lapse seemed to go over pretty well for the, the seats over at the other end, maybe we'll do a little bit of a time lapse. Because it should take me probably about 10 minutes or so to get these in. Although with the sun reflecting on the roof as it is, it's going to be kind of hard to see exactly where they need to go. But I don't think it's going to be too difficult. So I'll see you in about a minute. And we should be just about done with putting these on. last two pieces covered up because the piece before that one I was trying to stick it in there and it was like yeah it won't fix I thought all the pieces left were in that area but no uh, but the last piece here and then we'll unpack this construction material which go uh, right here Looks like we're buying material, so it must be a whole bunch of stuff is going to spawn here in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and get these pillars in. I think they spawned over here somewhere. Yes, they did. Kind of tall, so it takes a second to get them up off the ground. And I hope 
and I'm going to try to be patient and make sure that we're green when we put these leaves in place. I don't want these tipping over and falling down. Well, it wasn't quite there at the bottom, but it must have been close enough at the top. And I feel like, the way this is going, I'm probably going to have a roof to put on like we did on the other one. Sounds like we're banging this beam along. camera was having fun with me on that one you know what we're here I'm over it let's go ahead and grab this right here and we'll grab the other one on the way through as well Sloppy there. Okay, let's grab this last concrete pillar and get that in place. So I don't have any more building material on the job site, but that doesn't mean that more will not be brought to me, like just it just was where I was paying a thousand for each one. Well, the game says it's good. Uh, let's see, we gotta get the crane out of the way. Actually, it's my truck that's in the way. the job site and we're getting paid some big bucks there with some XP but then they're taking money right back out because they're spawning some stuff in over here package of steel oh wait a minute I may have to go get something all right back into the truck I guess uh, yeah we'll do it right now Still got some daylight. Package of steel elements. Is this the steel trade? Yes, it is. Fast travel to the steel trade. I'm guessing that's where we gotta go. Makes perfect sense, right? Is it around the corner? Uh... It is not. Well, I'm guessing this is what we're getting anyways. And I may have parked this a little bit too close. And we did move one of these before, so these should fit on here. Uh, no, let's grab this one here. I don't think I'll be lucky enough to get them both on.
I'm gonna try to scooch this over till it's not gonna show up green anymore. Is that as far over as that can go? I think so. I don't think the other one's gonna fit on here. You know what? Doesn't hurt to try. I, I could drive with it this way. <laughs> but, but I don't think that's going to work out too well. Alright, we'll just drop it off. Let's go ahead and reset that. Driving mode, we'll come back and grab that, of course. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do it right from the truck. And whatever one you want to go in, fine by me. Okay, back on down to the steel trade. And look at that, we're we're over three and a half million dollars, or sorry, three and a half million euros rich. Now, we haven't gotten a full campaign done yet. And we pretty much got everything that we mostly need for the company. Somehow that was close enough and it snapped on. Uh, nope, sorry, I was trying to reset first. My bad. And we'll drop this in place and we'll call it an evening. Hopefully the legs aren't going to be in a way of, nope, shouldn't be, of where this needs to be dropped. Maybe I shouldn't use the word dropped, uh, where it needs to be placed. Although I did kind of drop it in place. All right, we'll fold this back up and we'll back it up just a little bit. And since there's no traffic on this road, I think uh, this would be good. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, coffee break, morning. All right, so unpack the material. Oh, and they put some in place for us to begin with. Oh yeah, we got a whole bunch of material sitting there waiting for us to, to put to use.
I think we'll bring it all the way to the other side first and work our way backwards. And I think this job is going to be just like the other side where you think, oh, we're almost done. But that's when the game's going to be saying, no, you got a whole bunch of roof panels to put on afterwards. So let's try to get these five steel beams and then the two steel frames in place. But either way, because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to finish this today, unless I don't have to put on the roof on this one, we made some very, very good progress. Didn't seem like I was going to get this high up on percentage of the job done by putting on the roof and then the, the second floor percentage didn't go up that much, but the last few steps certainly have increased how much we got done. Alright, one more of those, and then I may have to use the mobile crane to get the other pieces on. Because I had two on the other side, I believe. But we'll give it a try. Yeah, these look a little bit thicker steel. Alright, let's uh, move this to the side here. I think I can squeeze through here with a truck, the crane. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a roof on just like that over there, I do believe. Actually, you know what? Instead of trying to squeeze it out that way, then i got to turn the whole crane around anyways. Let's swing it wide and get it into position over here instead. Let's see if I got the position just right for those legs to go out. Looks like we're good. Okay, not the piece I thought I was grabbing too, but all the same.
We'll try to get the farthest one first. Let's try to get the... Where's that hook? Uh, I'm not seeing that hook. I don't think this is the piece I need. No, I, I need that. Yeah, that's not the piece that's going to be... That I need yet. Okay, uh, is it this one actually? No, nope, that's for the lights. Oh, there it is, way over to the side. Okay, I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was going to be like right in front of that post of the beam. My bad. Okay, now we need that midsection that I picked up previously. Okay, now I'll grab the lights. We can use the other crane to get all 24 pieces up. And I think, yeah, we can we can get it done today, I do believe. Let's go ahead and leave that right there. But it will mean another time lapse. But at least I can condense the 10 minutes to put these up into about one minute of a time lapse, give or take. And then this job shall be done for Sammy, I think their name is. Just have to remove everything off the job site. And then uh, that'll be three steps out of the five for the campaign completed. So, one of, yep, number one, <laughs> good way to start. Uh, one done of 24, so I'll see you when we get done 22 out of 24, somewhere in that area. Well, instead of doing a time lapse, um, we got <laughs> a little bit of an issue, and I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but there's going to be too much movement around, I think, for a time lapse. Uh, I'll show you what's going on here. I'm not going to bother even starting the time lapse, honestly, but uh, the crane is hitting the steel beams that we just put up for the light so I can grab these and put these up but I want to swing the crane all the way around 
the back side of the building to pick up the other pieces and swing all the way back around here because this crane is, like I said, hitting the lights. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Yeah, let's actually, let's do it now. And then uh, I will just get the rest done off camera and I'll bring it back. I'll do a jump cut. I thought, oh, the spin around, I'll grab these, but I can't grab them. So, yeah, we'll grab one of these, which is like, okay, what's the big deal here? Just go down and grab it. Not that, you know, nothing wrong here. Because it took me a second to figure out what was going on. I like, I can't be hitting anything. So I just want to bring it up right over here, right? But I'll raise it up far enough so you can see the end of the crane. Boom, the crane's hitting the lights. So I can't put it down. So, I mean, yeah, what I got it, I'm gonna have to do is swing it all the way around this way. Now I suppose I could use the mobile crane to get this all done. And now the downside is, because I just tried it myself, I'm like, okay, yep, we'll just have, I got it on this side now, we'll just go over here. Boom, okay, now I'm hitting the lights again, and you can see the crane cannot go down and pick up the rest of the roof. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this all done off cam, do a quick little jump cut. So, in about 10 minutes from me, I'll see ya, and we will complete this job today. Not going to lie, using these, uh, <laughs> the crane, yeah, uh, wasn't the greatest, so I thought I'd give it a shot in the mobile crane, and I kind of get along with the mobile crane a little bit, a lot better than I do with the concrete pump, uh, but still, I guess because I probably don't use it enough. To be perfect at it. Well, not that I'm trying to be perfect with it. But I'm just a little bit smoother with a stationary crane, I guess. But anyways, the last roof piece for the VIPs. I mean, Sammy did say that he's trying to learn to place the cranes and everything in the right position, so... Um, yeah, he needs a little bit more understanding. I mean, if they just put these pieces on the other side, then it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, let's go ahead and just reset this. Put it into driver mode. And we'll back up a little bit. I think we're off the job site anyways. Well, I'm really surprised I'm getting this done this episode. Seeing we started in the low 50 percentile being done. Half time. The two finished stands make it look more like a stadium. Also, it's a completely different perspective from the 3D model. Huh. Maybe it's time I visited my projects again once they're finished. Planning is all well and good, but the results would have never looked this great without you. Let's make sure the second half is just as successful. I mean, we're off to a pretty darn good start. I mean, the stands are pretty much built, I think. I don't know if there's another set of stands I got to build. Looking pretty darn good. Uh, jobs, campaign, uh, DLC, stalker, stadium. Uh, so the entrance. Let's go ahead and we'll get it started. This job may take a while. <laughs> Estimated earnings of 2.1 euros. Uh, 
yeah, that seems like it may take a while. Make sure we're on medium. Yep, we'll accept it. And we'll, we'll talk to the architect, Sammy, at the beginning of the next episode. But uh, at least you can see that we have we have accepted that job anyways. He's over there waiting for us, but he's going to have to wait a little bit longer. I may get some of my equipment repaired in between episodes. We shall wait and see. Um, but yeah, the entrance is what is next. But yeah, starting to look more and more like a stadium for sure. But anyways, if you made it this far in the video and you like what you saw, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you have already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button as well. But anywho, that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.